Let's talk about orders in Sprout Studio. An order is basically an itemized bill that allows you to create an invoice or several invoices for your clients to pay you. Let's walk through all the different components of an order and how an order actually works. In an order, you add as many items as you'd like, and an item can be a print or a product or a service or a digital file or even a package that you have in your price list. And for each one of those items, you specify obviously the name, the quantity, how many of it there are, the taxable state, is this item taxable or not, and then the price if you want to override it. Most of these are set up in your price list, but you can override it on each individual order. And so you add as many items as you need to, and by default, the subtotal of the order is just a sum of the price of each item multiplied by the quantity of that specific item. That gives you a subtotal. It adds up the tax of all the taxable items, again, multiplied by the quantity, and an optional shipping option for you to specify how much shipping is for this order, and it gives you a total. Now, for all of these, you can override them. So if you need to override the total, give a discount, discount the shipping, add more shipping, make the total more, that's fine, you can, but by default, it's all just gonna be an addition of all these individual items. Now, in the order itself, you can choose what the payment structure looks like. Do you want it to be due now, the entire amount, in which case then there's gonna be one invoice created, due now for the entire amount. Or you can have it be due in a certain number of days, due in seven days, due in 30 days, due in 60 days. In which case, again, there will be one invoice created for the entire amount due in whatever amount of time you specified. The third option, if you don't want it to be all due now, if you don't want it to be all due in a certain number of days, if you want to have a payment schedule, it allows you to split up the order into several different invoices. And what this allows you to do is specify how much is due and when is it due. So you might say that there is a deposit due immediately once the order is created, and then you have another amount due, maybe 50% of the balance due a month after, and then you have the remaining balance due a month after that, in which case that would create three different invoices with three different due dates, each with three different amounts. So a payment schedule allows you to get a lot more flexible with how much your clients are paying you and when they are supposed to be paying you. In an order, you have settings, and there's a myriad of settings that you can configure to make sure that the order is structured the way that you'd like. You can specify things like what's the currency, what's the tax that's used, what payment methods are allowed, is it an order or is it a quote, what users are on it, when was this order created, so on and so forth. And then you can also set up who is the client, who's gonna actually receive the emails, who's the one that's supposed to be paying, and then you can separately specify the shipping client as well. Lastly, you can set up your Sprout Assistant settings for an order so that your client gets automatic reminders, automatic follow-ups, and automatic receipts once they make their payments. And that's the entire order and invoice ecosystem in Sprout Studio.